Hi, let's solve this question. If m is the tenth digit, so m is the tenth digit of some number. Let's read further. Of the sum of the two digit positive integers k r and m s. So we have k r and m s. What are these? These are two digit positive integers. So k r and m s are two digit positive positive integers. What does that mean? One thing is that k cannot be equal to zero. The second thing is m cannot be equal to zero because if k or m is zero, then these integers would not uh, would no longer be two digit, right? The other thing is they are positive and they are integers. And if we add these two uh, numbers, the question says that the sum that we get by adding k r and m s the tenth digit. So this will be the tenth digit here. The tenth digit is m. We do not know if there is a hundredth digit as well. However, if we add these two two digit numbers then the tenth digit of the sum is m which is same as this number here all right let's read further where k m r and s are digits of the integers what does that mean it means that k m r and s that is all these four uh, uh, variables they they actually represent digits of the integers what does that mean it means that R can take any value from 0 to 9. S can take any value from 0 to 9. K can take any value. It, it also represents these digits, but we already know that K cannot be equal to 0. So it means that K can take any value from 1 to 9 and M can take any value from 1 to 9 because M can also not be equal to 0. With this, let's read further. Which of the following must be true? So we have to find a condition that must be true. That is something that absolutely has to be true. There's, there can be no doubt about it. And we have been given these three conditions. So before evaluating these three conditions, let's understand what is given to us here. Let's evaluate it further. So here, if you notice, uh, R will be added to S and K will be added to M. Now, just notice that K is being added to M and the sum is still M. We, we can have a carry over here. Uh, one or two or anything can be carried over but still this this digit is m which is which is same as this digit when can this happen it can happen let's say let's consider the first case if k is 0 and we add 0 plus m so the digit will stay m right if if this is 0 then this will be 0 plus m m however we know that this is not possible because k cannot be equal to 0 all right let's evaluate case 2 case 2 is when k is 9 all right and r plus s is greater than 9 right and basically if we have a carryover of 1 here right if if let's say r plus s is equal to 10 then we will have a zero here and a carryover of 1 here so what what all things will be added here 1 plus k plus m in that case if k is 9 if k here is is 9 then we will have 1 1 plus 9 plus m that is 10 plus m so it will again be m here and a carryover of 1 right so this is the second case in which k is equal to 9 and r plus s is greater than 9 because of which we, we will have a carryover and this this sum will give m in the tenth digit. This is the second case. Let's consider another case, case 3. When r plus s, basically what we are saying is, uh, uh, we, we considered uh, the carryover of 1. Let's now consider the carryover of 2. So let's say k is equal to 8. And when can we have a carryover of 2 here? When r plus s is greater than 19, right? Now, is this case possible? Again, this case is not possible because R plus S cannot be greater than 19. R max can be 9 because this is the value that is available for R. And S max can be 9. So, R plus S max can be 18. Right? So, we can have uh, the, the uh, carryover 
कैन ओनली बी वन और जीरो राइट सो द ओनली केस इन विच एज एज पर दीज थ्री केसेज एंड एंड दर इज नो अदर केस पॉसिबल आई मीन ऑल अदर केसेज विल बी सिमिलर टू केस थ्री सो द ओनली केस दैट इज पॉसिबल इन विच वी कैन हैव एम ऑन द टेंथ प्लेस इज दैट के इज इक्वल टू नाइन एंड आर प्लस एस इज ग्रेटर देन नाइन सो दैट वी कैन हैव अ कैरी ओवर ऑफ वन विद दिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग लेट्स इवेल्युएट द आंसर चॉइसिस so this is our finding that uh, this is something that will definitely be true m will be at the tenth digit uh, at the tenth place if k is 9 and r plus s is greater than 9 so we have this option here k is 9 so if k is 9 r plus s is greater than 9 so this is something that is uh, that will definitely be true now whether m less than 9 will definitely be true so if we evaluate this whether m has to be will uh, whether m will definitely be less than 9 uh, that is that is not true for any value of m so m can take any value m can take any value from 1 to 9 right it it just cannot take the value 0 because that will make mr a single digit number so m can take any value from 1 to 9 we do not need m to be less than 9 for these conditions to hold so this is not a must be true condition here and therefore the correct answer here is choice d so with this you can understand how evaluating analyzing the information that is given to you completely before moving to analyze the options can help you easily get to the correct answer choice hope that helps happy learning